Welcome back to Southern RV TV Tour Edition. I'm your host, Barry, and I've got something special for you today. We just received a 2022 Jayco Eagle 321 RSTS, and they've done some updates for the model year. I think it's pretty awesome. We're going to get into it and do a nitty gritty full tour of this thing, starting right here in the living room. So this is a nice big space thanks to our opposing slides. We've got our uh, main slide on the patio side that hosts our table and chairs as well as our theater seating and then our kitchen slide on this side which is going to host in our living room our primary entertainment center. The entertainment center itself features this really nice big flat screen Insignia TV. This is a smart TV, so it's one of the uh, Amazon style TV, Fire TVs. Below it, we have the JBL sound system, and then below that, we have a Furion electric fireplace. Now, this is an electric heater, so that is going to put off heat in the winter. It's going to help aid in heating the unit in addition to the LP furnace heat. Now this thing is built super well. It has a full VBL construction, so vacuum bond laminated sidewalls, complete with a full foil wrap. This thing's been tested down to zero degrees. The underbelly's enclosed and is ducted with forced air, so none of your pipes are gonna freeze up as long as you're running that LP heat in here. So getting back into this living room though, we have a few things going on. In addition to that entertainment center having some storage built into it, I don't think I quite pointed that out. This TV does come out on a mount. It'll swivel left and right, but you can see it back in behind there. We do have some storage in the form of some shelving. There's also storage up above with ni nice little touches here. Notice how Jayco has put the struts on these cabinets. A lot of companies don't do that, so they don't just stay open when you open it up. I like that a lot. There's lots of those nifty little touches that we're going to find, like even on our shades this year. You know, we've had these nice big blackout shades before, but they've added some cool little things like the little dongle on the end there to make it easy to find and pull it down. More storage in the form of cabinetry up top. And in the back back here, this sofa is actually a bed. So this is going to pull out. It's going to be a trifold. It's going to be great for sleeping a couple of guests. It's about the size of a queen bed when it comes out in full. Across from our entertainment center, we have our primary theater seating. These feature recliners with some cup holders in the center, as well as a little bit of storage there too. And then one thing I want to notice about this slide is that it is flush floor. What I mean by that is that we have no carpet in the slide and the vinyl runs continuously all the way across. That just is awesome because if you have pets or other things, it's just easy to keep clean. It gets, lets you sweep up all the dander and pet hair. Let's jump out of this living room and jump into the kitchen. So this kitchen is beautiful. I think it's awesome with the solid surface countertops, the sink covers, and I really love what Jayco is calling their modern farmhouse decor. It's all of this nice bright white trim, really opens it up in here. They have put some nice hanging lights in here as well. Just gonna light up that island for you. And some other premium touches that we find are some little things, simple things like this little faucet right here. And that's connected to a large interchangeable water jug that's hidden up under our island. So if you don't like the taste of the fresh water coming out of your tank, this is going to offer additional fresh water that is easy to swap out at your local grocery store. You can put spring water in there. There's all kinds of options that open up to you with that little faucet. 
Also of mentioning, they've expanded on the fresh water in the Eagles this year. I believe this one's up to 80 gallons of total holding. Now in our kitchen, we find that it's quite residential in the sense that we have truly a residential whirlpool 20 plus square foot refrigerator here with ice and water in the door. That's very nice and it lets you stay out for longer because you can really load up on groceries. Speaking of loading up on groceries, we do have a full pantry here. That Notice how the light just came on as soon as I opened up the door. The shelving in here is fully adjustable so we can move that up and down. And note that they've left a little bit of depth in between the door and the shelves so that if we wanted to get an upright item in there, we could. That's kind of nice. One thing that I think is kind of weird though is they put a doorknob on this thing and I really want to twist it. You can't twist it. It doesn't twist. It doesn't actually go to anything. It's just a magnet closure. Jayco, if you're watching, put a pull handle on there instead. That's just weird. So moving forward, I'm loving everything else that's going on in this kitchen as well. In this little nook, we have our high point microwave with some storage to the left of it, more solid surface countertop that extends onto this nice flush mounted glass that's covering up our three burner Furion stovetop. The glass simply folds back and out of the way to reveal those three burners. The LED lit knobs give us plenty of control. We have a decent size oven down below and even further down below that, we have a nice big storage drawer for pots and pans and other large items. Now, speaking of this island, I know we started talking about it. Let's come right back to it. That's, covers that are on our dual basin stainless steel sink here are removable. One's a cutting board, one's a drain through. And when you pop those back, you see that we do get a nice large sink there. And one thing I like is that they've given us this extendable wand on a nice high faucet that's going to allow us to wash dishes with ease. Down below, they've given us plenty of shelving and They've even given us an additional space over here where we could put a small trash can and there's some drawers as well. The drawers in here are soft closed. So you push them, you just get them close and they're gonna shut on their own. Also in this island, we have power feature in the sense that this little guy pulls straight up. It's got USB to power outlets built into it. When you don't want it, you can let it slide down and away. In the back of the kitchen here, we have our dedicated hutch space They've given us a spot to set up a coffee maker or a toaster, something like that, that you're going to use day in and day out, but you want it kind of out of the way. Again, more storage. Look at all of it. It's just all over up here. These big glass front doors open up to reveal deep double shelves. And then below that, we have a convertible space. So this could potentially be more pantry or notice how they put coat hangers in the back and put a magnetic catch on that shelf so that it hinges up. And now we've got a coat closet that's right by our entry door. Dining in here is very much done in a residential format in the sense that we have a freestanding table and chair set. Now this does come with an additional two chairs that are hidden up under the bed uh, in the master bedroom. They're folding chairs that get out of the way because they assume that most of the time there's probably just a couple sitting here at this table. The table does have an expanding leaf system. It's right here. It pops up and out to make room for those extra guests should you need it. Let's check out the entryway here and some of the nifty components that we've got as soon as we come through the door. The BM Pro system is right here and we're gonna give you guys a little video descriptor about that. We'll link it up above. This thing is really cool because it allows you to control the camper from your phone in addition to monitoring all kinds of other great systems that are on board. So running out slides happens at the touch of a button in addition to awnings and other things like that. So even if you were out on your patio, you can run your awning in and out at the touch of a button from your phone. That's pretty cool if you ask me. Other nice little touches is they put in a little clock up above from Middlebury into Indiana where this is built. I think that's just kind of a nice little finishing touch. And they've given us a nice handrail going up the stairs so that anyone and everyone can get up with ease. Let's get on up here and check out the bathroom. 
This bathroom is incredible. It has a lot of modern touches and as far as looks and decor goes, Jayco really hit it on the head with this one in the Eagle this year. I'm loving this herringbone wallboard that's in the shower. I'm also loving the fact that I'm sitting down in here. It's got a nice seated spot. So taking a shower is not gonna be an issue even if you're tired or if you have to bathe a small child or something, you've got a spot where you can really kind of hose them off. Another cool thing about this is at six foot three, I've got plenty of room in here. So I'm not even in the skylight, I'm up at it. But even if I was taller, that wouldn't be an issue. The triple slide glass doors close it off and give it just a beautiful finished looks. Other things that they're doing this year that I'm really liking is this deep navy blue accent color. In addition to that, we have a different wallboard in the background here than we have elsewhere in the camper. It really just makes the room look a little separate. It gives it some flair of its own. All of the little things like the tile backsplash, the nice high faucet, and this good little rounded sink here. Everything is just great. We have storage options in the form of a backlit medicine cabinet. Nice towel holder here. And then down below the sink, we have a couple of nice big shelves down low. We have a standard foot flush toilet here. This porcelain is from Dometic. They've gone ahead and mounted up the toilet holder on the wall. They have a couple of coat hooks as well as, again, more storage in the form of a spot where we can put towels and other linens and things. I'm digging it. This bathroom's awesome. Oh, I almost forgot to mention it. One more thing. It has a pocket door. How cool is that? That just means that there's no door swinging in and out, getting in the way as you're coming in and out of this bathroom or passing other people in the camper. Let's check out that master bedroom. This master bedroom is fantastic. Again, it comes down to a lot of small touches that Jayco really puts into the finished build that make it what it is. So at the foot of our bed, we have a chest of drawers and an entertainment system. We have the Insignia TV up here. It is on a swivel mount, so it can move around. The chest of drawers features multiple sizes of drawers. They're nice and deep. And one thing they've done that I think is really cool is right here on this end of it, they've put a USB power supply. So that means you can plug your phone up and set it up here at the end of the day because that does seem like a natural position for all the stuff to just come out of your pockets and land when you're getting ready for bed. The bed itself is a king bed. We've optioned it in that way. There is the option of a queen, but it's still a walk around bed. There's still plenty of space to get around this. And on either side of it, we have power. So at the bottom of the floor, we have 110 receptacles. That means we can plug in a CPAP machine on either side and there's plenty of space for it down on the floor. There's couples reading lights tucked up under the slide there and above each of the pillows so that if somebody wants to sit up at the end of the day, they can have a little bit of a light source. Back here at the front cap, we have this space which is dual purpose. So what happens here is this shelving can come out and we can install a combo unit washer dryer here should you choose to do that. It's all fully plumbed for it and ready to go. Has some extra storage space up above and we have a traditional fifth wheel hanging closet with some shelf storage in the back of it as well as up high. It has the sliding glass door so with the big mirror in it. That's something that we're seeing pretty commonly. Now, up under this bed, I'm gonna go ahead and lift this. Notice how it just popped right up. It's on a strut that makes it easy to do. We have a nice big storage compartment. And right now it's hosting those two folding chairs that we talked about earlier that go with our dinette in case you ever wanted to have guests. You could also reclaim that space and use it for all sorts of things, off season items, blankets, throws. I can think of a lot of different ways to use that much storage is kind of awesome if you ask me and they put windows in on either side of this bed that you can open up and i can see doing that on a nice day because it's going to let a cross breeze go right across your head there now as far as ac goes this thing has rooftop ac but one of the things they've done that's super cool is they've put it on a helix 
system. So the air itself, the main AC unit does not pop down through the roof. Instead, it sits up above it and dumps into a track that has returns and outputs. This is going to make it infinitely quieter than a lot of the AC systems that are on the market for RVs today, just by way of how it's built and how it interacts with that system. Now, all of that is insulated up there and it's tucked into that Magnatrust roof, which is one of the strongest roof systems on the market today. Let's go on outside. We'll check out that roof. We'll check out some of the exterior features and Guys, there's still a lot to see, so just hang in there with us and come on for the ride. So outside the 321 RSTS, there's a lot to love. Let's start right at the front of the vehicle. One of the things I'll mention is that we do have power in a, ver a variety of places. Right here up on the front cap, we've got a couple of 110 plugs. We have saddlebag style. 30 pound LP tanks. These have an auto regulator between them. The other one's sitting on the other side, hence saddlebag style. The pass through storage has slam latches and magnetic catches, making it easy to open and close as well as easy to get to stay open. It's a nice big pass through storage and in here we find more power options as well as a point in which we could hook up yet another TV. There is a spray port right here at the stair side that opens up to reveal a quick connect. We have another one on the off door side that we'll look at a little bit later, but this just gives us an opportunity to wash off any kind of dirty bikes or dirty feet from coming back from the beach, things like that. Down low, notice that we have outside speakers as well as a switch for an undermounted light for our entryway. The entryway itself features the step above entry stairs. These are solid steps that make solid contact with the ground. They have a wonderful quick release button to adjust the legs for uneven terrain. And this is already equipped with something special, a nice big grab handle in addition to the primary wall grab handle for getting up into the camper. One thing I'd like to mention about this specific handle though, and it's something that we haven't really talked about before, because this is an optional aftermarket purchase for this style of stairs, but it doesn't work for everyone. As you can see, this does lift easy because of the strut assist, but once this gets in, you'll see that that handle could potentially come in contact with a wall or something else inside your unit if you were to add it after market. So that means that you gotta have a specific amount of space for this to work, or it's going to have to be attached and unattached each time you show up. Now here, it works great. It folds right in and it's not in the way of anything. There is a screen door hiding back there as well. That's pretty standard. One of the things that Jayco does though, that is not standard is give you a four star towing package. They are doing everything they can to make this the most comfortable ride for you and the others around you. So there's plenty of marker lights around this, plenty of visibility. They're riding on Goodyear tires. They're riding on this big heavy duty Dexter axle as well as nice big heavy duty shackle system. And everything here is just set up to where you shouldn't have to worry about your towing experience. While we're down here, we'll note that this slide system is on a through frame rack and pinion electric style slide mount. That's really nice because that rack and pinion slide system is proven, it's tried and true. It always seems to work. Popping up, you'll notice that I'm up under these two, two, big electric awnings. These things cover almost the length of the entire RV. We have one that's coming directly off the slide, the other off of the main body, and the slides are all pre-prepped for slide toppers so that they're easy to add on. Our, our awnings out here are LED lit, giving us plenty of light down the side of the camper and on the patio side of the evening. Let's pop around to the back and check out some of the features there. 
coming around to the rear of the camper, we have a couple of cool things going on. If you're a cook and you want to cook outside, Jayco's got you covered. Now we didn't option it in on this particular model, but they feature a cool little thing called the J-Port, which is a flip up little flap that we can slide in a table through a two inch receiver hitch and there's LP quick connects up under there as well that are gonna allow us to run propane off of our main canisters to a grill or a griddle. That's pretty cool if you ask me. Also here at the back of the camper, we have something that's kind of awesome. It's the Jayco towing package. So we have a two inch receiver complete with chain hooks and a four pin connection. So towing a small utility trailer or a boat back here can feasibly be done, it's rated up to 2,000 pounds. Excuse me, 3,000 pounds, I'm sorry, got that a little wrong there. We're also pre-wired for a backup camera. Now, it doesn't come with it, but it's plug and play. So the wires are already up there. All we gotta do is pop them, fish them out through there, and hook up that camera, and you're good to go. It connects with a visual system that you plug into your cab of your car. Now. I wanna hop up on the roof with you because they've got something going on up there that I think is pretty cool. Let's go check that out. I can't get my foot out. <laughs> Let's go check out the roof. <laughs> Man, that first step is a doozy on that ladder. It's up there, so short people beware. All right, so up on this roof, we have a couple of things going on. Both of our ACs are up here. We have a WineGuard Air 360 Plus. That's our digital antenna that's receiving all those signals that give us TV from the towers in HD format over the air. And another super cool thing that we've got going on are these two big solar panels that charge that tie back into our charge controller and are gonna keep all of our 12 volt systems topped off and ready to go at a moment's notice. I love this, it's something that gives you just some peace of mind that your battery power is always gonna be in play. It's something that we're starting to see more and more standard from the industry. And I love now that we're not just seeing one panel, but two up here. Hopefully one day it'll be able to power everything in the camper. We're getting closer year by year. Let's pop back on down and check out the off door side of this camper. All right. Let's check out that off door side. So we've got a couple of cool things going on over here. One thing I wanna point out that's down low is that we get a good look at our ground control 3.0 system. Now this is a four point electric level up system. Yes, it's a true level up system, but it's electric, not hydraulic, and it's four points instead of six like we see on some bigger fifth wheels. Still, it auto levels at the touch of a button, and that is an awesome feature. Right in behind it, a little harder to see, we have one of our main low point drain valves. Now that one's coming off the fresh tank, and it has a big, big opening so that we can drain that thing fast. We don't have to wait on it for days. Moving forward, we have the backside of our residential refrigerator. Why do I like this? Well, because it gives us access to the things that we need to get a hold of should we need to do any service work here without pulling the refrigerator out of the slide. That's a really nice feature, it's super thoughtful from the folks at Jayco from a service standpoint. Our primary power in is on this side as well as our main heater there. Again, we have slam latches on our baggage door. This side is strut assisted because it can't go all the way up against the wall, but we open it up and it reveals our wet bay with all of our connection points, including a little outside shower with hot and cold water. This would also plug in to that spray port that we saw around the way. And in behind that, we see that we've got all of our primary tank pulls, as well as a spot to thread in our uh, cable and things of that nature, all of our hookups, and then all of our water heater bypass valves and tank flush is right here as well. All of that is conveniently located in this enclosed space 
with a drain at the bottom. It's right here next to that pass-through storage that we saw on the front side. But in this pass-through storage, we also have a battery cutoff switch in the auto level controls. They're right there mounted up on the wall, easy to access and on the driver's side. These are the things that the driver is gonna to wanna to access as soon as we get to camp. So it makes sense that they position them where they have. We talked about the saddlebag, 30 pound LP tanks. Here's the one on this side, matching the other one. And then let's push on up to the front while we're right here. And what I wanna say about these marker lights that's kind of cool is they're pre-wired for a Furion camera system. So if you chose to, in addition to that backup camera that we saw on the back wall, you could also install side view cameras and flip between them as you're going down the road. The front cap itself is a fully painted front cap. It does have some decals in there, but what's really neat is that it has all of these awesome running lights, including LED accent lights going up as well. We have a standard pin box and hiding down underneath it, we have our battery bay as well as more storage. So we've got a spot where we can set up a couple of batteries if we so choose. You can do it with one if you wanted to. Again, remember those batteries are gonna stay topped off by that solar charge system that we saw on the roof. Guys, let's wrap this up with some final thoughts before we close out this video. So for over 30 years, Jayco has been building the Eagle line of campers. They've always been kind of in the middle when it comes to price point and luxury. It's not the highest end, but it's certainly not the lowest end either. And for the longest time, I would only recommend them to folks that were looking to do, you know, several weeks worth of trips or, you know, like intermittent vacations, those kinds of things. But this year, jaco has gone and stepped up and done something that I did not expect and they've warranted these for full-time use. Now, that's new. It's new to us in the industry for this brand. There's a lot of other full-time RVs out there, but I can see why this fits the bill. I mean, it's got everything you need. It's got all of your residential amenities. It's got washer dryer hookups. It's got everything you could think of for hitting the road in a train format with that tandem tow package in the back. So if you got to pick up your house and all your goodies and go somewhere else, I mean, this is it. And it's not going to break the bank. So all of those things said, I think this is a great entry level full-time RV. Uh, you know, it's not just for recreationalists anymore. They're starting to build this out to a level that is worthy of living out of, which I think is just super cool. So anyway, let's wrap this up. Come see it for yourself in person here at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. We're right off I-75 between exits 216 and 218. You can visit us online at southernrv.com or give us a call at 770-477-0552. And until next time, as always, happy camping.